In recognition of his outstanding leadership and invaluable contributions to the energy industry and the community, Energy Corporation of America salutes Kyle Mork for being named an oil and gas investor's 30 under 40 honoree. We're with Kyle Mork. He's 36 years old and he's the president of Energy Corporation of America. Welcome. Thank you. What's the hardest part of the company's transition from a conventional operator to an unconventional developer? Yeah, I think so that transition took place over the last six or seven years. And I think, you know, the we are fortunate to have wonderful people and we had great people during that time period. But just the systems, you know, drilling conventional wells in Appalachia, you could have, for instance, one engineer kind of manage the process from building the location through completing the well to producing it initially. And with unconventional, that's very different. You have to have different folks specialize in different areas. And so building out those specialties was probably the most challenging part. What's the biggest risk that you've taken in your career? You know, I think uh, I started my career with Halliburton and Energy Corporation uh, of America as a family company, actually founded by my grandfather. And leaving Halliburton, um, while it didn't seem risky at the time, you know, my career had taken a pretty nice start and I was kind of off and running and just hitting my groove there and made, uh, made a big leap to come you know, from the Rockies to Texas and start my career. And so that was a big step and kind of starting over in some ways. What did your family teach you about running a business? Oh, I mean, I think that, um, you know, you've got to, it starts with the people and it starts with the values. And our core values at ECA have been unchanging for many, many years. And the first of those is to treat others as you would have others treat you. And I think, you know, trying every day to stay true to that is the core of what we do. So as more young professionals leave the oil and gas industry, what would you say to encourage them to come back or even encourage a new generation to start their careers in this industry? Yeah, I think even with the challenges in the industry and you know what people may perceive as a riskier industry, the rewards and the upside are so great. I think to me that trade is worth it. And so that may not be for everyone, but I think that that trade is a fantastic trade and the upside is really exciting to me and I think to, you know, to a lot of young people. Thanks for joining us, Kyle. Thank you very much. For more videos like this, go to oilandgasinvestor.com.